Thank you so much. First, uh, let me thank the both organizers for giving me this opportunity to give a talk here. Okay. Uh, the title of my talk is Some Writer Schwinger Type Operators. Uh, this is joint work with uh, uh, my, uh, my advisor, John Ruan, and uh, Charlie Stanko uh, from uh, University of Virginia, and Peter Van Lanker, uh, who is from uh, uh, University of Gent in Belgium. Okay. Um, before uh, start, uh, before studying my uh, main talk, so I want to show a reference uh, uh, I use a lot in uh, in our paper. Uh, this is uh, Rarita Schunger type operators in Clifford analysis by four people: uh, Bruce, Simon Suchek, and uh, Peter Van Lanker. So I started uh, started to read this paper about two years ago. So I got some ideas from this paper. So thanks uh, the authors for this paper. Um, also, uh, in one section of my paper, I give a summary of results on Raisa Schunger type operators appearing in this paper, and giving uh, detailed proofs, uh, and also extending some other results. So if you are in, uh, apparently I will, not, I will not have enough time to show the proof here. So if you're interested, just uh, uh, pick up one paper, okay? Okay, uh, let's uh, kick off. Uh, my talk with a brief introduction. Uh, in representation theory, for the orthogonal group ON, one can consider spaces of a homogeneous harmonic polynomials if one refines two solutions to the Dirac equation, namely two spaces of homogeneous uh, monogenic polynomials, one refines the representation theory to the covering group of ON. Then the right Schunger operators arise. The right Schunger operators are generalizations of the Dirac operator. They're also known as Stanwitz operators. We denote a right Schunger operator by RK, where, R, uh, where K are non-negative integers. When K, it, uh, when K is equal to zero, it is the Dirac operator. Okay. Um, uh, the goals of my talk are the following. First, I will construct the right Schunger operators based on the Dirac operator. Second, I will construct fundamental solutions to the right Schunger <coughs> equations. Third, I will give some basic integral formulas related to the writer schunger operators. Okay, to look at um, covering groups, uh, the Dirac operator and the writer schunger operators, I need some Clifford algebras. A Clifford algebra CLN can be uh, generated from Rn by considering this relationship. So we have Rn is a subspace of the Clifford algebra. If we want through En is an orthonormal basis for Rn, then this relationship tells us Ei, Ej plus Ej, Ei equals negative two times the uh, Kronig delta function. So the, this shows that the Clifford algebra is not uh, commutative. So an arbitrary element of the basis of the Clifford algebra can be written as the product of Ej1 through Ejr. Hence, uh, any element in Clifford algebra has this form. Also, we will need the following involutions. Uh, uh, reversion, a tilde is given by this form. So the tilde has this kind of property. Also, the Clifford conjugation is given, uh, a bar is given by this. Uh, it also has a nice property here. OK, now let's look at the cover groups, pin n and spin n. Uh, pin n is, a, is defined um, as a set uh, with elements in Clifford algebra such that A equals the product of P elements uh, on the unit sphere. P is a natural number. So it is a group under multiplication in Clifford algebra. So not for um, element in the sphere, x in Rn, that y x y is a reflection in the y direction. Now by the cartan dewdown theorem for each uh, element in uh, also going to group is a composition of finite number of reflections. So if we choose uh, y1 through yp arbitrarily, the group homomorphism state uh, from the pin n to the orthogonal group defined by that is subjective. Uh, also, the kernel of theta is just the one and the negative one. Okay. We also can define the uh, the spin uh, is a, the spin group is a subset of pin n such that this p is even. So 
So the spin uh, is a subgroup of pinion, and this set of from the spin to the special also in the group is also subjective with the kernel one and the negative one. Okay. Now let's look at the Dirac operator uh, in Euclidean in space R n uh, can be oh, sorry can be okay defined uh, by this. So the square the square of the Dirac operator is negative log loss in ERN. So we call a solution of the Dirac equation df equals zero a left monogenic function. So uh, to look at, to look at the Rayleigh Schunger operator, uh, we need a mass efficient decomposition. Let PK denote the space of CLN value of the monogenic polynomials uh, homogeneous of degree K, and HK be the space of CLN value the harmonic polynomials homogeneous of degree K. If HK in uh, if HK is a harmonic polynomial, then DHK is a monogenic polynomial with degree K minus one. Okay. So we have uh, this uh, mass special decomposition. HK can be written as PK uh, plus UPK minus one. So that means uh, the element in HK can be written as PK plus UPK minus one, where PK and the PK minus one are monogenic polynomial uh, with degree K and the K minus one, um, respectively. Okay. We know that D, if DF is zero, then we by the property of the conjugation, so we have f bar d equals zero. So we can talk of a right monogenic polynomials, and we also have a right mass Fisher decomposition. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the writer Schunger operator R k. So suppose u is a domain in R n. Consider this function f from u cross R n to the Clifford algebra such that for each x in u, f x u is a left monogenic polynomial homogeneous of degree in the second variable u. Okay. Now let's look at a new function dx f, uh, f of x u. So this function, it is not monogenic uh, anymore, but it is harmonic, still homogeneous with degree k. Okay. Because it is harmonic, so we, by the mass feature decomposition, it can be written as f1k plus u uh, times f2k minus 1. Okay, now let PK be the left projection map, PK from HK to PK, that's this PK maps the space of harmonic uh, polynomial to the space of the mo uh, monogenic polynomials. So we can define the writer Schunger operator RK, RKF is defined to be PK DXF. Okay, this is my writer Schunger operator. Now we can define the left monogenic equation is, is RKF equals zero. Uh, similarly, we have a right project in PKR. Uh, this here, the PK bar is the space of the right monogenic polynomials. Okay, and the right we also have a right writer Schunger equation. Okay, now I have already got my uh, writer Schunger operators and the writer Schunger equations, so it is crucial to ask a, a following question: Are there any non-trivial solution to the writer Schunger equation? The answer is yes. First of all, any k monogenic polynomial PKU, we have trivially RK PKU equals zero. Now consider the fundamental solution uh, to the Dirac operator. So also consider the Taylor series expansion G of V minus U and the restrict and the restrict to the case order in case order terms in U1 through U N. These terms has uh, as vector valued coefficients. So, which is just the case derivative of the fundamental solution to the Dirac operator. As G is a solution to the Dirac operator, so we have this series equals zero, we can replace DDV1 by this series. Doing this each time, DDV1 works, and collecting like terms, we obtain uh, this finite series polynomials homogeneous uh, of degree k in U. So this here is my P sigma U and V sigma V. Okay, further we have this uh, integral over the unit sphere is the chronic delta function. So we have, if we define this expression as this series, it is a reproducing kernel of PK with respect to integration over the unit sphere. So this 
function is uh, left monotonic in the first variable v, uh, u and the right monotonic in the second variable v. Okay. So because this function does not depend on x, or rk is pk dx, so pk is a solution to the writer Schunger operator. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I can uh, ask uh, a further question. Are there any solution to RKF that depends on X? Answer is yes. So to answer this, we need to look at the link uh, to conformal transformation. Any conformal transformation uh, can be expressed as this form. So the ABCD satisfies the following three conditions. Uh, by considering the cases uh, C equals zero and C is not equal zero, so we have these uh, uh, Iwasawa decompositions. Okay. Now I want to establish the conformal inversions of the projection uh, operator. So uh, we can establish uh, this PK is invariant under the orthogonal transformation, invariant translation and dilation. So we have uh, those lemmas. Um, using the Iwasawa decomposition and combine the previous lemmas, we get the theorem one. So PKJF will equals JPKF. So here, this uh, operator PK can interchange with the conformal weight J. Here is my J. Okay. Now I want to uh, establish conformal inverse of the writer Schunger equation. Uh, okay. First, the, this uh, for the Dirac operator, this is known. We have that. Um, so similarly, using the Iwasawa decomposition of the conformal transformation and the previous theorem, so we can obtain this result. So the J negative one and the J are the interwinding operators for the writer Schoenke operator. So this, theor uh, this result is not uh, appearing in the paper uh, I mentioned at the beginning. Okay. okay, so if F is a solution to the writer Schoenke operator, writer, so we have JF is uh, also a solution to the writer Schoenke operator. Okay. Now applying the inversion, to, we have already know that ZKUV is a solution to the uh, to RK. So applying the inversion on this uh, to this function from the right, we can obtain this function. It is a non-trivial solution to FRK equals zero. So this RK is acting on this function from the right. Similarly, apply inversion to ZKUV from the left, we got another representation. It is a solution to RKF equals zero. In fact, uh, this two representations are the same. Uh, they are the fundamental solutions of RKF equals zero. Okay. Uh, okay, now uh, let me give you some basic <coughs> integral formulas. Uh, first, uh, we need uh, in the inner product uh, PQ with respect to U is given by an uh, integral over the unit sphere. And, uh, okay, now let Okay, now I go to the Stokes theorem for the writer Schunger operator uh, by using the Stokes theorem uh, on the, mm, to the Dirac operator. Okay, so this is, uh, here I want to point out is the FG, a monogenic function in the second variable U. F is uh, left monogenic and the G is right monogenic. So here is my integral formula. Okay, now by using uh, the Stokes theorem, so I can get uh, my Polypomb theorem. So this is one of my uh, main theorem in the paper. Um, so we have f y u equals the integral over the boundary minus the integral over the uh, domain. So here I will use this representation. Where the point? So this e k equals c k z k uh, times that. Then uh, this c k, I can tell you this c k is a magic. Um, when we proved this theorem, we had uh, stuck down uh, here for a while, but fu uh, finally, uh, Charles Dunkel produced this CK. So, yeah, we go move on. <laughs> uh, then uh, we, I still have uh, um, other uh, integral formulas, but I, I don't have time to show, to explain that. So here are some references. Thank you for your patience. 